the heart of Malawi, where tradition meets innovation, Invegro is pioneering the future of sustainable cannabis farming. We take a deeper look into the cutting edge techniques that are transforming not just agriculture but also environmental conservation. One of the groundbreaking techniques used at Invegro is drip irrigation. Drip irrigation is a micro-irrigation system that delivers water directly to the root zone of plants through a network of valves, pipes and tubes. The beauty of this method is its precision. It ensures that water is applied exactly where it's needed, reducing waste and promoting healthier plant growth. For cannabis farming, where precise water management is key to both yield and quality, this system has proven transformative. This precision not only optimizes plant health, but also conserves one of our most vital resources, water. Traditional irrigation methods often lead to water wastage through runoff or evaporation. But with drip irrigation, Invergrow's water usage is reduced by up to 70%, a crucial factor for cannabis, a water-intensive crop. Beyond water conservation, Invergrow is committed to sustainable cultivation methods. These practices are not just environmentally responsible, they are also vital for the future of cannabis farming. Traditional agriculture, with its reliance on large-scale irrigation, synthetic fertilizers and mechanized farming, has been effective in the short term, but often leads to soil depletion, water wastage and environmental degradation. In contrast, sustainable methods like those used by Invergro focus on long-term resource efficiency. We, we do organic farming. We only use organic fertilizers and compost. We also do agroforestry by planting trees and trephrosia, which help in nitrogen fixing. At the moment, with the high cost of fertilizers, organic fertilizers or organic solutions are cheaper, especially in our setup where we are making compost on site. There is improved harvest, improved yields because with the soil management systems, the healthy soil is at into high yields. At the moment, there is an increasing number of people wanting to use organic solutions because of the high cost of uh, farm inputs, especially the fertilizers. So it's hard to get the organic inputs. At the moment, we are addressing this challenge by making our own compost on site. Invegro is exploring innovative uses for hemp byproducts, particularly from the hemp stack. The stacks can be processed into a variety of eco friendly materials such as fiber, briquettes, and biochar. One remarkable example of hemp's versatility can be seen on Invegro's campus itself. An entire office building constructed using materials derived from hemp stock. This building stands as a testament to Invergrow's commitment to sustainability and resource innovation, showcasing how cannabis farming can extend far beyond cultivation into architecture and beyond. As the world shifts towards greener, more sustainable industries. The cannabis sector is no exception. Invegro is leading in exploring the environmental benefits of converting cannabis byproducts into sustainable materials. These innovations not only reduce waste, but also create new opportunities for resource efficiency in cannabis farming. In industrial hemp, um, adding value to the products, there's a lot of different business lines that you can do. 
uh, looking specifically at converting it into industrial products like hemp blocks, uh, insulation paneling, paper and all these different things as well. You, a lot of that you're using what, what generally could be considered an agricultural waste from the crop. So by making it into briquettes, biochar, you're hoping to reduce the, the overall waste of the product. And of course, uh, the specific process of biochar where you're taking a organic, organic matter product and really turning it into basically a 100% carbon carbon-based product at the end. You know, you're sequestrating a lot of carbon, therefore you're reducing a lot of the emissions that would be going out into the atmosphere. Therefore, you're also helping contribute to the reduction of, of greenhouse gases. At Invergro, we practice a lot of conservation, conservation techniques, such as using composts, making bokashis, making biochars, mulching our product. We also use a drip irrigation system here, which allows us to be very accurate with our water allocation. Therefore, we're helping to conserve water usages as well. And uh, yeah, these are a lot of principles and practices that I believe uh, can be picked up by other farmers, picked up by other groups, not just in cannabis, but in, in most crops as well. We do practice a, a no-till system here at Invergrow. So we're protecting a lot of the biodiversity that you would find inside the soil. By also, us also adding uh, additives like biochar and uh, compost, you know, you're really increasing the carbon content and the organic matter content inside your soil, which is helping for water retention, it's helping to reduce leaching of nutrients. So the, the use of fertilizer here is, is drastically reduced and uh, our, the way we apply water here, it's, it, it's really when we need it on the crop. There aren't specific uh, allocations that we do on a daily basis. Yeah. At Invergro here, we use all of the crop that, that, that gets harvested, whether it's on our medicinal side or when we've cultivated industrial hemp in the past. We, don't, we have little to no residues left over from our harvest. The seed is getting processed, the flowers are getting processed, the, le the leaves from the deleafing process before the harvest is getting turned into composts, the stalks are being turned into briquettes, the fiber is being turned into briquettes, all of this here. So we're really reducing our wastage and our overall footprint with the agriculture as well. Um, but as I mentioned, a lot of the practices that we also do here, the mulching, composting and, and intercropping and these different processes, it, it won't just be the benefit on the, on the cannabis industry, but the agricultural industry in Malawi. In an industry where quality and safety are paramount, Invegro has set itself apart with rigorous quality control processes. From cultivation to final packaging, every step is carefully monitored to ensure that only the highest quality cannabis products reach consumers. In quality, basically we are looking for the consistency of the product, number one. We are looking for the safety of the product that we are producing and we are also looking at uh, legal compliance of whatever that we are going to do. So first of all, we are regulated with the uh, Cannabis Regulator Authority. And secondly, as I explained on the seed selection, to come up with the mothers that we have here, it's also to maintain the consistency of the process. And uh, in addition to that, we have documented all our processes so that we're following the same steps time and again to ensure that we have the same product. We also uh, have our suppliers of the various raw materials that we use around the processes. So we also vet our suppliers to make sure that they are giving us a product that's consistent so that it doesn't change or alter any of the processes that we are going through. One of the challenges that we encounter is the environmental controls. Uh, I think you have seen that after the plant has gone through the vegetation stage, we take it out to, to the outside field to enjoy the, the sun uh, that Malawi has. So the challenges that we meet are the changes in the weather conditions because when it's hotter and it's colder, the consistency in the plant differs even its own, its own formation. You find that the same variety would be very dense during the hot months and it would be slightly fluffy during the cold months. So those are some of the challenges that we're meeting uh, in producing the crops outside. 
Uh, the other challenge is that, uh, like I said, we don't have a lab in Malawi that can attest the efficacy of the cannabis flower. So every time we have to do a test, it means we have to send samples outside of the country, which takes time and it's also costly to send samples outside of Malawi. As the world shifts towards greener industries, Invegrow continues to lead the way, not only in cannabis farming, but in environmentally responsible and sustainable innovation. Invegrow's journey is about more than just cannabis. It's about reimagining agriculture, preserving the environment, and building a sustainable future one where every resource is used wisely and every drop of water counts.